Yagi Uninori appears in Fate Samurai Remnant as his younger fortunate world self. Unlike the one seen in the Shimosa chapters of Fate Grand Order, along with other appearances, he took the path of being the commander of the clandestine Yagi Shadow Ninja troops instead of becoming the clan's head. Operating from the shadows using his ninjas to manipulate things from the background without anyone noticing. He was summoned as a result of Musashi being summoned for the waxing moon ritual due to their shared connection, likely due to interactions during Shimosa. In the story, he appears as a rogue Saber, working with Yori and Saber to find out who's going around murdering people as well as killing a not so liked by the people lord which Yori is getting framed for being a ronin who is very skilled and had been trained by a famous swordsman being Musashi. Now part of Munori's reasons at first seem to be to avoid suspicion by staying at their side and helping them but also to see if the Yagi clan has truly fallen to participate in such an act. Throughout the story, it seems like they painted the mastermind to be the magistrate named Kakunoshin, who actually put Sukunoshin and later Yori on the case to figure out what's going on and stop it if possible. Throughout this little story, on two occasions, Rogue Berserker will appear and try to attack them, with Yori mentioning that Berserker probably means no harm to them, meaning him and Saber not including Yagyu in this foreshadowing something isn't right here with him. Eventually they find the magistrate who has been killed after fulfilling his role by the actual culprit who he considers his lord who is Yagyu's nephew Yagyu Toshiyoshi from Owara having come back to life as a wandering spirit using these shadow samurais to cause not just many murders but also get in the way of Yori. But also we later find out he does it to lure out his uncle to be able to fight him and prove his sword is the strongest. But at the end we find out in truth that Munenori is the true mastermind and culprit and these samurais are actually a part of the noble phantasm that he summoned to fulfill whatever he needs them to do. But on the downside, they tend to consider anybody who is of the Yagyu bloodline to be their master, make them switch sides very easily, which Yagyu probably planned for. In truth, Yagyu wanted to do this to lure out someone strong to fight, like Musashi, or Jubei Mitsuyoshi, who he thinks would stop him because of his evil deeds, as he might do if he was in their position. And through this end up finding Yori wants to see what lurks behind his blade that's so different from his master Musashi. But before all of that, when they went to face off against Toshiyoshi, Musashi arrived and they all teamed up to defeat him for then Musashi to reveal who Minori truly is, and Yori wanted to know his reason why he did everything he did, never truly trusting Minori from the beginning. With everything cleared up, Minori asks to have a duel between the two Yagyu Tachinokami swordsmen and the Niten Ichiru users, with Musashi and Yori obliging to his challenge, which of course they win. With Toshoshi satisfied having disappeared, Appeared, Yagyu slowly starts to disappear and as the winning party walks off he does mention that while he may have been defeated there was another beast there being Yori which only makes sense to you if you picked up the context clues or have seen a certain ending. Watch my Yori video for that if you're really curious. The next day Tsukunoshin appears 
Yori that his name has been cleared and the whole situation has basically been thrown under the rug, treated as if it was just some gossip. So Genoshin having gotten real chummy with Yagyu, having shown him around Yoshiwara prior in the story, he sets off to find a good tea house that Yagyu would like to go to. Which of course you would think would be in vain, but considering the post part of the story, because Yagyu has to be available as a playable character for the main story, somehow his spirit origin stabilized. And thus he decided to join Yori and Saber, agreeing to a geese brought up by Yori because Saber wasn't sure if they could trust Yagyu to even be around. At Yori's level, this geese at best would make them drop their swords if they broke the conditions not wanting to fight each other anymore. And Yagyu not being able to murder anymore, while not story relevant, he did end up teaching Yori one of his moves for Yori to use in the story moving forward. Now check out Amshashi's video next if you want to know why this game loves her so much.